Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about P6's update baseline feature. Are you using it right? Should you be using it at all? I want to dive into that and talk about project change management while we talk about P6's update baseline feature. Okay, so number one, update baseline, if you've done any digging, you know it's fraught with errors and bugs. Yes, all sorts of problems trying to get update baseline to properly copy activities between the current schedule and the baseline schedule. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about whether you should be using it at all. And in fact, I think a lot of people are trying to use update baseline when they shouldn't be using it at all. Let me talk about schedule change management for a minute. Here we go. Some slides for you, give you a visual. Let's say we're are progressing our schedule. We took the time to make a great baseline schedule at the onset, we called it B1. And now, as we go through, we're doing our update schedule. So we're always comparing to B1. We've got our update one, update two, update three. Now, once we get to month five, something happens. And you know this always happens, probably in month five or even earlier. A change request comes through from the owner, maybe the contractor, whatever we have a change request to deal with on this schedule now. What happens is we take the current progress schedule and we put in the new scope or the changes. Maybe we're removing scope. Whatever it is, we are changing non-actualized, not started activities, things on the right side of the data date. We're making a new version. I call it CR schedule one. Here I just called it update five plus change request one. Now, to move forward after getting this change request approved, we need to have our baseline represent the new work. And this is what I see people doing. We now wanna have baseline one include change request one, all the new activities, the new scope. And we're copying those activities, the change request activities using the P6 update baseline feature, right? We can use P6 update baseline feature to do that. We pick our baseline. We might have new activities in the current schedule and we tell P6 automatically copy new things from the current schedule and put them into the baseline. But, and here's the rub, this is wrong. Don't do this. This is not the right change management process you should be following at all. You ready? Let's see the whole thing again, following proper change management procedures related to processing change requests. Okay, baseline one is completely locked. I don't touch baseline one. In fact, all baselines, once they are approved, are locked. You should not open them to edit them, make changes. They are approved, they're locked, no editing, no changing. So what should we be doing instead? Well, we should be making baseline two. And baseline two is actually a copy of our current progress schedule, update five, with the change request information, the new scope added into it. We should actually be making a new baseline in P6. Now this, we're not comfortable with, and why? Because my new baseline will have actuals in it. And a lot of us are not comfortable with that or we prefer to keep looking at the same baseline we've been looking at, but it should not be, that shouldn't be that way. That one is locked, we don't go back. We make a new baseline and it's just as simple as taking the current baseline schedule and creating a new baseline. Just add a new baseline, making a copy of the current baseline schedule and adding that into your baseline list here. You can see I have one down here. Update B with CR1 changes is uh, in my baseline list. I set that as my new baseline and I move forward with update six. Update six is now comparing to B2 and we move forward that way. This is the process you should be following. In fact, there's some nuances to this, especially if it takes a couple months for that change request to get approved. And this is something I show you and talk about in my latest course, Advanced P6 Progressing On-Demand course. You can check it out on planacademy.com. 
we will dive directly into this content and I will teach you the steps that you need to know to do proper change management and we practice with real schedules. Now, update baseline, when do I use it? When should I use it? To be honest, I have not had to use it. I would love to hear from you if you have a great use of update baseline. I have seen it from Ron Winter used for doing a half step scheduling, but other than that use case, I'm struggling to find a really good reason to use update baseline. If you have a really good use case, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button or check us out at planacademy.com where we have amazing courses and we teach Primavera P6 from the beginner to the advanced level. I'll see you guys next time.